This is a geologic tour of Route 66. We're going to go from Chicago to L.A. Ever plan to move to west? Travel my way, take the highway, that's the best. Get your kicks on Route 66. And the first stop will be around Braidwood, Illinois, a famous fossil area, uh, sometimes known as the Maison Creek fossils, a fossil area that was exposed in strip mining in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, which over a number of decades yielded a variety of very, very beautiful fossils. And then we're going to continue west to St. Louis and on to California. When you make that California trip, Route 66 followed essentially what the path that I-55 follows today and went right through a area which is famous in the annals of paleontology known as the Braidwood fossil beds or perhaps better known as the Maison Creek fossil beds. In the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, strip mining of coal uh, piled up piles of gray shale, which was shale beds that directly overlied the coal seam, which was being mined. And these shale piles were allowed to weather for a decade or two. And out of the shale beds would appear these reddish ironstone nodules. Uh, ironstone nodules which contain in the center of them a fossil nucleus. Sometimes a plant, sometimes an animal. Animal fossils are pretty rare in the Braidwood area, but uh, they were unusual because they're some of the first land animal, uh, uh, first land animals represented, which include insects, uh, these are the wings of a um, cockroach and dragonflies. This is a dragonfly and uh, horseshoe crab-like animals that, that some believe climb the uh, tree ferns and then would uh, fall out of them and uh, get preserved in these ironstone concretions. Um, the uh, coal mining uh, today uh, is probably uncovering things like this, but the reclamation uh, requirements uh, immediately bury the uh, shales and they don't allow them to weather and, and be exposed. So the conditions that uh, uh, produce the braidwood uh, fossils are no longer being present. Uh, some of the foliage of the Coal Age forest, uh, this is the plant Aleophopterus. You see here Picopterus, a very, very common fossil that you see at uh, Maps Expo and a lot of uh, rock shows. Uh, there were literally thousands and thousands and thousands of these collected uh, from the Maison Creek fossil beds and the Braidwood fossil beds. Uh, here is the much larger leaf, Neuriopterus. And there are a variety of other ferns, most of which are rarer than uh, the three genera that I mentioned. But uh, uh, one of the most extensive uh, floras of Coal Age plants with some of the most superb preservation. The preservation is three-dimensional. You can see the actual ribs on the plants and uh, some of the reproductive organs like the sori of the ferns have been preserved and some of the seeds of the seed ferns have been preserved. Uh, it is a phenomenal uh, locality. It's considered as one of the paleontological windows of the geologic past. East of the Braidwood area is another zone of ironstone fossils which are very different. The Braidwood flora is brackish or fresh water and contains no or very few marine animals and marine life forms. But east of there is what is known as the Essex biota, which contains a variety of animals, many of them very, very unusual, uh, such as the Tully monster, or another farm known as Wise, 
Uh, again, the Essex area with its ironstone concretions is considered as one of the paleontological windows, one of the uh, sometimes called Lagerstaaten, one of the uh, very, very superb uh, windows on geologic time that has preserved uh, animals and plants in ways that are normally not preserved in the fossil record. Uh, one might say why uh, the coal-bearing strata preserve such nice things in these areas and other places has not yielded them. Well, unfortunately, the uh, reclamation programs in coal mining has uh, directed that coal uh, spoil, which is the shale that overlies the coal beds, now be buried and uh, leveled and covered by soil. And the beds of shale don't get a chance to outcrop and weather the way they did uh, a number of decades ago in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. So uh, although there are probably some of the coal beds that are being mined in Illinois and Indiana and Ohio that may contain comparable uh, uh, windows on the pass as the uh, Braidwood and Essex uh, floras and faunas, uh, unfortunately, the fossils are not being recovered today the way they were uh, uh, a number of decades past. So Literally thousands of collectors scoured the spoil piles of both the Braidwood and the Essex areas and collected vast numbers of the ironstone concretions which have found their ways into collections of both museums and private collectors.